Hi, I'm Eric with the Plano Public Library. What do salt, snowflakes, and quartz all have in common? They're all crystals. Don't believe me? Well, let's take a closer look at what makes a crystal and how we may be able to make our own at home. Crystals are solids that are formed when molecules are connected together in regular and repeating patterns. Now, most crystals come in geometric shapes with sharp, tight edges and smooth sides called facets. Because the atoms lock together in such an orderly fashion, the resulting crystals take the shape of the molecules that form them. Salt crystals have a cubic shape, while sugar crystals have a flattened rectangular shape. Snow is made from solidified water molecules, H2O, which reliably form each unique snowflake with exactly six sides. The process of crystals forming is called crystallization, and crystallization occurs in nature when liquid cools and starts to harden, like magma cooling into a mineral quartz crystal, or when water evaporates from a mixture. This is where sea salt comes from. Now let's see how we can use some common materials to grow our own crystals. Let's take a look at what happened to the pipe cleaner as it sat in the borax solution over time. Now, if you want more crystals or your object isn't covered yet, repeat the process. New crystals will grow on top of the current ones. Now, when we dissolve borax crystals in water, we create a mixture. Saturation refers to the maximum amount of a substance that can be dissolved into another substance under normal circumstances. Adding heat increases solubility, which is the ability of the borax to dissolve in the water. So what does all this mean? It means that the water becomes super saturated with borax crystals. The heat causes the water molecules to move farther away from each other so that it can actually hold more borax than it would normally be able to. As it cools, the water molecules come closer together again, and the extra borax in the mixture can no longer be contained in the colder water. This is when the borax falls out of the mixture and clings to the pipe cleaner and reforms into crystals. This is called recrystallization. Now, what do you notice about the shape of the new crystals? Salt, sugar, and Epsom salts are all examples of crystals. Conduct your own science experiment and create different types of crystals. Make sure you observe how the crystals are different and how they're the same. Until next time, have a great day.